Hello, I'm Henry Sapola, co-founder and CTO of Demand Sage. Today, I would like to show you how to bring our enterprise-grade marketing intelligence to your HubSpot data. The first step is to go to the G Suite Marketplace, where you'll be able to find our plugin. So here I am, I'm just going to search for Demand Sage, I'm going to come on in, and I'm going to click Install. This will add the plugin to your Google Sheets so that you can bring out your data into any sheet that you're working with. Be sure to select your work account if you have many so that you can access your data and you can share and collaborate with coworkers without accidentally being on a personal account. Once this is done, you are all set and the plugin's ready to go. To see it in action, what we're going to do is we're going to go to a Google Sheet. As I said, any sheet will work. In this case, we're starting with a new one, which we'll call Demo Sheet. But this could also be an existing marketing sheet. Basically, any sheet that makes sense to bring marketing data into will work. And I'm just going to go to the Demand Sage menu, and I'm going to click Start. This will begin the authorization process, which is what gives us the ability to access your sheet and your data. So the first step is going to be to authorize Google so that we can connect to this particular sheet so we can write new data to it as we do our updates. We can present you with new reports as we develop them, and we can make sure that everything is always working. So I'm going to sign in with Google. I'm going to choose an account. Again, you want to choose the account that owns this sheet and is the one that you're collaborating with your coworkers with. And we're going to allow that. And once this is done, uh, we're going to be prompted to do the same thing with HubSpot. This is now the account that has our HubSpot data, which is the data we actually want to work with. So I'm going to connect to HubSpot. And since I was already signed in, it actually uh, took me through the next step. But that would be basically selecting the instance that you wish to work with. Um, and then you're going to be brought to this screen, which says that everything is working. We're collecting your data and preparing it for your reports. And you'll receive an email as soon as that's done. This usually takes somewhere between 10 minutes to an hour, depending on the amount of data that you have. But thanks to Movie Magic, we can skip all of that and get started right away. So with that done, I'm going to come straight to add-ons. And now I see that I've got some new options in here. Our report library, where I can download existing reports to see my data. And smart tables, where we can create new reports based on the particular needs we have at the time. In this case, I'm going to go into the report library which is going to bring me this list here of existing reports. Start with something simple, which is just the summary, daily general overview of all of our data, uh, and I'm going to get this. This will now copy the template in uh, from, from the server and bring it into the sheet. This template is, of course, updated every single night, so um, the data will always be fresh. And I can go in there and make changes to the template if there's little things that I want to change or highlights or different ways of viewing the data as needed. So now that that's done, let's go and take a look. So I've clicked into that summary report, and here we see all of our data exactly as we expect it. As mentioned, this data will be updated nightly. So we can share this with others as needed. We could go back into that report library and grab more to explore new reports and new data. Or in the next video, I'm actually going to show you how to use the smart tables to build specific reports to answer very specific questions. Hopefully this was helpful. Please reach out to us if there's anything you'd like to learn more about. I'm Henry Sapola. Thank you for your time.